Approaching kids with conversations on mental health is an important part to do, and it makes them feel safe, and it makes them feel encouraged to opening up. Deborah Stallings with the Toy Insider is sharing how incorporating special toys can help kickstart those conversations. Deborah, thank you so much for joining us here at Live in the Bay. Thanks so much for having me. Yes, Mental Health Awareness Month is happening now during May, and people don't always think about the kids, but exactly. why is it very important to get these conversations started with the little ones? Yes, exactly. Well, it, like you said, a lot of times people think about adults or teens or things like that, but the little ones really have a much harder time expressing themselves. They don't really understand those emotions yet. So it's brilliant. I wish I had these when I was younger, honestly, because we would just have a temper tantrum and a screaming fit, right? right. And our parents would be like, what do you want? Yeah. What do you want? This is a much better way, much more constructive, allowing them to learn about emotions, show their emotions, and have some really fun, nice companions along the way too. Awesome. Well, we're going to get into all of that. So let's start with this first one here that you brought. Yes. Okay. These are really cute. If you want to pick some of these up, even these are from hand to mine and these are their sensory emotion bottles so oh. look how cute these are so first of all they're all unique and have a great different effect I love the happy one with all the glitter and the sparkles very yes. very happy yes. right but you can turn them upside down they've got this very soothing calming effect and they also show of course the different emotions so the kids can learn mom I'm happy dad I'm sad maybe I'm confused frustrated I love the little sad one too it's like this goo oh. Aww. that goes down to the bottom. And like I said, it's very relaxing too and a great uh, tactile experience for them to be able to grab onto those. So those are great even for car rides. Maybe they're frustrated, have a summer trip coming up. Yeah be something really good to keep in the car with them too. Anything that can keep them entertained in the car. 100%. All about it, right? Yes. So what do we have here? Okay, great. This is from MGA. This is the Little Tykes Dream Story Machine. Okay, this is one of my favorites. So What's more relaxing and comforting than a bedtime story, yeah. right? So this is actually a little projector. It comes with three different storybooks that come with it. I'm gonna press the start on the front here. Um, and I think we've got some B-roll too. So this is actually going to project the stories onto the wall for the kids. Hear the sounds. Yes, hear all the beautiful sounds. They're gonna learn to be able to read, start recognizing things. But also, like I said, having a story read to you at nighttime really allows you to calm down, feel confident, feel good about yourself. And even without the stories, you can pop the stories right on out and there's a beautiful little light and there's white noise effects that go along with it too. Okay. So this is really great and they have other books that you can purchase as well. If your kid has a favorite character or story, you can go ahead and purchase those as well. I love movie time and I, yes. feel, I think that kids do too. So this is kind of an interactive way, just bringing the movie a little bit more to life. Yes. Um, I love that. And some learning involved too, right? We sneak in the learning when, when we can, for yes. sure. So this looks like we're going to learn a little bit about some more emotion. Yes, yes. So this is from Tomi. This is the A Little Spot Mix and Match. So these are based on the books by Diane Alber. So she has books that teach kids about how to respond and learn about their emotions. So Tomi partnered with her, and it's a really, really cute, simple set. So this is felt, and it comes with these cute little spots. It also comes with an easel. And then what you can do is you can place the different, um, you know, the different eyes, the different mouth on there to express your feelings. And there's little cards that come with it too. So if you want to practice and say, is this how you're feeling? Are you feeling anxious? Are you feeling confident? The kids can then go ahead and try to duplicate that. So this is for really young, starting at ages two and up. So as you know, at that age, they can't always express themselves the way they would like to. Yeah. So this is a really fun simple way um, that'll keep them busy for a long you time. You can change you can out put... the emotions, right? <laughs> or you can have four eyes or what, however you're feeling that particular day, right? So, Sometimes I feel that way. Yes. <laughs> what a great tool to learn about the different emotions and just have these flashcards, I feel like, are always helpful, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, another one that's really sweet for the, for the little ones. This is from Sunny Days Entertainment. This is Moodles. So there are three different ones to choose from. We've got the bear, we've got the little cat, and my personal favorite we've got the little dog so look what's really clever here so they've got different expressions and you can flip it with the little star on the top oh now we're happy but you can also flip it with your hands 
looks like we're a little sleepy now, oh, wow. right? So in an addition to having six different expressions on each of them, and we've got some cute little crinkle tactile effects here too, they make such a cute little companion, as you can see. Very cute. They're really, really cute and soft, and once again, really good for those little ones. And, and those are the ones that really have a hard time learning to express themselves, right, as the little ones, and we wanna teach them the right way to express themselves. Yes, and I can just uh, agree with you in saying that if we had these when we were little, right? This would be so helpful. I, I, right. We're really teaching about all the different emotions. Happy, sad, sad, sad. sleepy, yeah. right? I know, I really, once again, I wish we had had these when we were younger because we didn't quite know what to do with it all. And right. this is a great tool for parents to have. Okay, this one, we're getting into the sensory Yes, items. I'm gonna give you some some woe dough, and that Whoa one happens dough. to be a glow in the dark. So this is from Buffalo Games. This is their Chuckle and Roar. Um, this is actually gluten-free sensory eight pack. I so love if, how this feels in my hand right, right here. Right, so this one actually, I would say, could be for good for adults and for kids, yes. right? There's something very satisfying about having something soft that you can manipulate in your hands like yeah. this. And of course, all the different colors for the kids to choose from. Like I said, some of them are even glow in the dark. These, this great sand has this great pull. Usually you think of sand of, you know, making a big mess. Nope, right. it all goes back together and can go back into the containers and it won't dry out as long as you keep them in the containers too. So this one is a very tactile, um, de-stressing um, effect that you can have for the kids and yeah. adults. You might even want to keep this in Super your desk. Super satisfying. I was just going to say, right? I might be taking this with <laughs> right. me. I love this. Okay, and lastly, what do we have Yes, here? okay. So this one is from Just Play. This is the For Real Waffle Lots. I don't know if you can hear making a lot of little noise over here. This is the burn -a doodle and we know that pets are great for emotional support. So yeah. maybe you're not quite ready for a real live pet at home. It is a big commitment. I have two of them, so I understand. <laughs> um, but this is a great little one just for petting and loving. It also, you can attach the little leash. So you, so you can actually take your little burn -a doodle on. Oh, oh, I'm trying to stick it in there. Um, Come right over here. There we go. Sorry I'll about that. It. Let's see. So basically, we'll get this a second. attaches. You can attach there. the little leash, and you can take them for a little walk. And so fun. So it's just almost like having a real there one. There go. you go. You yeah. got it. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Take them for a little walk, except you know you don't have all the mess that you have to clean up <laughs> yes. in the backyard. But thank you so much. These are all You're great welcome. gifts to help kids uh, to learn a little bit more about their emotions and to help with mental health awareness. Yes. I appreciate you joining us and sharing all of these. Thank you so much.